Welcome everyone to this tutorial and this tutorial I am I titled it wrapping your design on a car or on a vehicle so uh, so this is the outcome of what I've done in Corel draw and uh, this is very easy I'm letting you know that this is very easy to do in Corel draw and if you take a look at this one uh, the design is really wrapped around and it doesn't hide all this, you know, the doors, uh, I mean the separation of the doors and even this dent here. So, okay, so uh, this is my, this is basically my, um, my photograph that I'm going to put effects on, right? This is a Tesla Model 3 performance car, which, by the way, is a great car. So, um, I so the first thing you have to do in this uh, in this um, project is that you have to create a um, you have to create a uh, what do you call this a shape uh, that wraps around or what do you call it. Um, like outlines just the the surfaces that the uh, design will go to right so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go into the Bezier tool and in be your Bezier tool um, the style here is if you go closer uh, the better because then you can control more of the uh, yeah more of the curves so what you're going to do is you're going to wrap around this this the shape of the car right okay so this is gonna be a, a long time to demonstrate so what I what I prepared is I prepared a um, uh, like a video of how I did it so this is just like a short video so so basically you create a bezier tool around the car and then uh, you know uh, make sure to go around and not leave some white space around and then and then later on what I did just to check so I colored it uh, gray right or any color you want so I forgot to show you I'm just not going to turn this off so I forgot to, to uh, to show you that you also have to to cut out on the uh, on this part right? like the the th the parts that you shouldn't put the design right for example here shouldn't put that and uh, you shouldn't put here and this one too so anyway the outcome is like this right so this is important because without that it would just wrap around the whole car right and this is also uh, important to cut that out right and uh, so the concept of wrapping around so for example this I'm just showing you for example this is the shape of the car just an example right say say you've done this already I'll color it gray right uh, and then I'm going to remove the fill. So this one here is, say, just example. This is the the doorknob, right? So make sure that it's closed. Okay, to check if it's closed, color it. Okay, that means to say it's closed. So once you already have the cutouts, right? So you select all all the curves, and then because right now um, it's not going to be cut out like this one will still be solid so you have to combine it so once you combine it and then say color it like this okay this this part will will not be i mean the design won't wrap on that part okay so that basically is the concept of that so so now uh so you've got so if i move this one so basically you have that shape around the car, right? Control Z to undo. So, uh, so what I did here, I got this uh, this pattern. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make it. Uh, 
close to the size of the car okay and then of course I'm going to uh, power clip this inside this shape that I did right so go to objects and then power clip and then place inside the frame and then inside the frame so which is your frame the frame is the the car outline you know with the cutout so you click on that one okay so so don't panic because it's not it's not in the car right so we can adjust that by going to edit and then you're going to edit this this power clip so you just have to fit that inside the car you see that blue outline there and then you click OK and then I just want to move this it looks like it moved so I'm just going to adjust that one because if not this one will show up maybe when I was like moving it around accidentally okay so so this is good so now of course if you compare this to this one this really looks professional right so we'll put it side by side uh oops <laughs> sorry again oops anyway we'll just compare so this one and this one this doesn't look professional because it doesn't show the cutouts of the door right which is important to do and watch this one this is very simple thing to do so once you have this already you have to convert it to, to bitmap right um, but i suggest to to save a copy of this one so plus on your keyword and then move it just over here that's basically our backup right just in case we want to change the design we can always go back here and change the design so this one so let's continue with this okay so I mean you can submit this to this mock-up to your customer but it doesn't look great and professional right so what you do so you click on the camouflage uh, wrap right and then make sure to go to bitmap and then convert to bitmap and then make it 100 dpi is fine i mean we're not printing this only for but if you're printing this you can might as well go to 200 or 300 but for this one it's just like for the screen um, this is very important you click on anti-aliasing and transparent background especially the transparent background so click ok and now this is not a power clip anymore this is a bitmap so watch now so you click on your transparency tool and you click on this one which is uniform transparency and it's not it's you just add transparency right this is the thing that you have to change instead of normal you go subtract and take a look at it right so now the door cutouts is you can see it already then uh, lessen this to say 20. wow that's amazing <laughs> that's it's that easy right I think the magic number here is 20 I mean it depends upon your yeah, upon you so look at this way big difference right big difference so remember I told you the to keep a copy of this for backup that is great because then I can get some design here say for example this one let's play around play around with this design okay so we're going to power clip this inside this one right because this is still a vector so you click on this and then you go to objects and then power clip place inside the frame and the frame is this one right click on that one and then let's edit that so this is the old one we can delete that we can delete this one too and then bring this over there and then you can do adjustments here so for example I want to make it smaller as long as the blue line your you know the design is inside that blue line I don't know if you see it but see that's the blue line that is the boundary of the power clip okay and I can even like rotate it a bit like that okay and then finish power clip okay like I said before this is not realistic because it doesn't have the cutout of the doors 
but we can still make that look realistic again plus sign in your keyboard keep a copy always keep a copy because we're turning this into a bitmap right so once you turn it into a bitmap you can't turn it back to your power clip right so you click on this one and then go to bitmap convert to bitmap and then make sure anti-aliasing and transparency is checked and then click ok and now it's a bitmap and then go to your transparency and then uniform transparency and then go to this one is 20 or you can change that later and then click on subtract and that's it and look at that it even it get it gets it get the uh, you know and then if you if you want you can still adjust it Say you want a more, say 18, or you can put a slider. It's really up to you, like if you wanna, as long as the, you know, the cutouts are in there, like the door, and that would look realistic. Now, that's a, uh, let's try this one here, a flame, the flames. Which I think I did this as a bitmap already. I'm not sure. So anyway, click on this one. And so we're going to plus on your keyboard. Keep a, keep, a, keep a copy there. So we are going to. Uh, so you're going to go to objects, power clip, place inside a frame. And click on this frame. Okay. And then we are. Actually, the problem here, this is not a bitmap. I mean, it's a bitmap, but um, yeah, we can try. We can try that. But I'm guessing it might not work because uh, there's a white. It's not transparent, right? But let's see. Let's just experiment. So click on finish. Yeah, and uh, let's see it's gonna look like here yeah I don't think it's guinea because the uh, it has re it should be like an outline I mean it has to be cut out like you don't have white here let me try this one say bitmap and then I think there is um we can we can go edit bitmap and uh, what was it forget about it it's like color bitmap you know or let's just trace it so click on quick trace and see if so quick trace okay I think that's traced already so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a solid background first so that I know that uh, that it's that I, that I can get rid of the white so I'm gonna ungroup it Okay, that's good and then delete this white white yeah it's good white oops Zed. so this one here I'm just going to combine it with this one here combine that let's let's just try this one here because I'm gonna delete that so I'm gonna make that uh, this as a cutout. So oh, didn't work. Anyway, I'll just okay, I'll just keep that white. Okay, so now we can delete that, and then we can go back, click on finish. Okay, and then I can convert this to bitmap. Click OK, and then transparency and then click on subtract and then make this say 20 there uh, it works too so it's very good okay so now when I was doing this I was I was I was trying this um, let's just say I want this I want this to change the color right because the I'm going to remove this bitmap first. Click on finish. 
and then no uh, no fill. Okay, let's say for example, I want to change this to red, right? So I'm going to click on red and uh, uh, okay, click on red and then convert it to bitmap. Convert to bitmap and then click OK here. And then go to transparency tool and then go here and make it subtract and now you get a red car right or we'll just pop that up to 12 yeah so I think the um, um, I can make it darker red. Anyway, the the, um, the idea there is the transparency, subtract, and then turn down the transparency. So, so that's all for for today. And uh, I hope you like the like my tutorial. And I will see you tomorrow again. Thank you for joining. And uh, please make sure to subscribe. Turn on the notification and the bell and like or uh, comment on my videos. Thank you very much and goodbye.